Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jay Cruz, and this is how I change strings on a guitar with a big. Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down. I'm on it, but we can make it uh, for a amount of detail. Years and years ago, I was in a guitar store, very, very young, and I was playing, I think, a Gretsch guitar, and actually it had a Bigsby on it. And one of the store clerks came up to me and said, Hey, kid, never, ever, ever buy a guitar with a Bigsby on it because it's impossible to change strings. So for years, I believed this guy and thought, Yeah, you're not supposed to ever have a guitar with a Bigsby on it. And clearly, in the last 10 years, I defied the odds and have been a very proud Bigsby player. And today I'm going to show you how I've conquered changing strings on a guitar with a Bigsby on it. Before we get started, there are a couple of things that I want to point out that I do that I think will really help make this process a lot easier. Step number one is change each string individually. I do that for two main reasons. Reason number one is I believe in not letting the neck rest especially if you have a bolt-on neck back when i would just cut off all the strings and then replace them i noticed that almost every single time i would put the strings back on i felt like i needed the setup again everything was just a little bit off i was letting that neck relax a little bit too much so when you keep the tension on it seems like to it, in my mind at least it keeps the the setup accurate so that when you string up your guitar again, it doesn't feel any different. You don't have to break it in. You don't need your strings to settle and the guitar neck to settle. It's already done that. Reason number two, the tension from the other strings will hold your Bigsby in place. One of the first times I took off all the strings in the Bigsby guitar, the entire Bigsby fell apart, right? It left the Bigsby loose. I lost the spring. I misplaced the, the, the washers. I wasn't sure how to put everything back. If you avoid taking off all the strings, it will not only keep all that stuff in place, but it'll also keep those little pegs in place as well. If you allow those to move, you're gonna be fighting with that when you're trying to put your string on that peg. So keep the tension on by keeping the other strings on while you change just one string at a time. And last but not least, the actual component that will make life so much easier when you're changing strings on a guitar with the Bigsby on it, and that is a good old capo. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the probably least expensive ones. This is from Dunlop. I don't use my G7th capo, for example, because that tension is adjustable. You want one that really gives you a lot of tension because you want it to hold the strings in place firmly, and I'll show you how I do that right now. As seen right here, I'm going to be using these NYXLs. These are 10 gauges. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be only taking off one string at a time. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bend the tail end of the string. I'm going to kind of bend it into a, a sort of a, an L shape just like that. And that's going to really help me attach to the pegs on the Bigsby. So we're going to go under then over just like that attach to the peg underneath of course then we're going to keep that tension with our right hand then compensate with our left hand now with our right hand loose we're keeping the tension holding it onto the peg remember we're going to take our trusty capo here and we're going to attach it to the 12th fret holding the string in place There you go. Now you have both hands free. You have that string held in place on the peg. And now you've got two hands to go ahead and tighten the string as so. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. We just changed strings on my brand new guitar here. This is a Nash T52 um, 2017. I had my eye on this guitar for about a year now. Just used it over the weekend actually. Had to uh, play guitar at my home church using my brand new guitar, my pedal board, and my brand new Kemper. And I have to say, I was very, very pleased with the outcome. So if you're keeping track, yeah, it looks like the Kemper is staying for sure. And this guitar ain't going nowhere. 
So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have some tips, maybe something that I should be learning from you guys, feel free to leave it in the comments section. Let me know that you're watching these videos and let other people know what you think. This is how I change strings on a guitar with the Bigsby. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make it uh, for a amount of detail.